Hey guys and welcome back to another video and another Legend League base. This is the base which I used over the entire week. I tweaked a little bit here and there and well, it's it has done pretty well. So if you guys are new to my base video type, um, type of things, then you should know that whenever I'm posting a base, I'm not only posting the base and giving you guys the base link, I'm always explaining a bit more like why exactly this base is pretty good, why did I use it, and how you guys can use this knowledge about tweaking your own base. This is kind of like a, even though it's a base video, I will explain a bit more about base building as well. So if you just want to make sure to copy the base link, the base link is down below in the description of the video. If you want to, to copy uh, a little bit more of knowledge about base building, then make sure to stick around. We will watch later on in the video, a couple of attacks on this base as well. But for now, let's talk about why exactly this base is pretty good. First thing first, which is, well, right now there are a lot of teaser bases right now out there, which you should have noticed when watching my like seven days Legend League challenge. Uh, we, met, we met so freaking many um, teaser bases and there is a reason for that. First thing is that it's super hard for the most common strategies to get the three stars on those and it's kind of risky sometimes to get even the second star. Why exactly is that the case? On those teaser bases, it's kind of tough to create like a really good pathing for Yeti Smash, which is by far, by far, by freaking far the most used strategy in Legend League. So the, the unique thing about teaser bases is you somehow need to get into one of the four sides. Like you normally have four possibly possible entries and all of those are kind of tricky with Yeti Smash to be honest. So. This makes those Caesar bases kinda um, strong right now in the meta, even though they have obviously weaknesses against other strategies. But the main thing in Legend League is obviously to defend like the most common attack strategy. One quick um, note from my side at this part of the video is that um, the core of this base is kinda annoying to deal with with the Yeti Smash because with this kinda large uh, dead zone behind the scatter shot, it makes it kinda tough to actually get to the tunnel or get away from the tunnel without actually like getting to the outside of the base. You will see that later in the defending, uh, defending replays I will show you guys. But for now let's let's talk about the four possible entries on this base which normally Yeti uh, Smash players are taking. Obviously the first uh, two are from the top side and those are kind of risky because this freaking dead zone near to the scare shot. So you have to save at least one, um, at least one jump spell to make sure that you're reaching the town hall. And then you have like all of those traps in between of the scare shot and the town hall, which makes it sometimes really tough to actually get the tunnel down because you push already due to like through a lot of the base, which means you don't have the power anymore, which you have normally in the beginning of an attack. So that's kind of annoying. The other two entries um, are that most of the people who are trying to come in from the bottom are doing a warm work and then trying to enter around the town hall. But with having the clan cast at the bottom, it's kind of annoying to funnel over there. And guys, always remember, on this base, never use three ice cubes or like a lava hound. Always use those trash CCs. Like 30 archers and 15 goblins, 33 archers and witch, or something like that is, is needed on this base. Otherwise the base won't work because you can easily lure the clan castle and then just get rid of it. The next nice thing is that on those outside clan castles, most of the time people are just like, if you have the possibility, they're just sending super goblins in and getting the clan castle for free basically. So this is why the wall is over there. And you can have wall break over there because the wall breakers will like run around and won't touch the outside wall because it's way too short. So one quick reminder as well from me because this is like the most common question whenever I post a video on a base. Can I use this base in Clan War League? Can I use this base in Clan War, Legend League, whatever? Even though this is the typical Legend League base, you can obviously use this in Clan War and the Clan War League as well. But always make sure that like whenever you're getting higher, it's kind of likely that some other players are pushing as well. And as soon as I posted a video about the base, it's kind of likely that they run into it at some point. But now let's get back, let's get back um, into the into the discussion of where to put the tornado trap because that was a kind of tough decision to, to make where to put that because there are a couple of options. First I had it next to the um, scatter shot in the core, then I put it around the town hall and nothing of that 
really worked. So I had to put it in between of the scattershot in the town hall because that was the most reliable um, place where it, could where it got actually triggered. So next thing is most of the people tend to come in from the right side. This is why there are way more black mines on the right side compared to the left side. You can see I have like two at the top right, two at the, at the three o'clock corner and not too many on the left side. Obviously it's like a bit of a coin, uh, coin flip but on the other side, it's, uh, well, most of the pe people are coming from the right side and you do not want to make a base which is defending every single angle, which is just not possible. So we have to come up with a base which is kind of baiting a certain area, kind of, uh, to make sure that at least some people are doing one stars. And over the entire week, I got only tripled once, which isn't too much, comp like, I wasn't too low on trophies, but only getting tripled once is too, it's pretty good. So what we should do right now is let's watch the first attack um, on my latest defense log, which was a one star and it was one of those Yeti smash attacks. And then after that, we will take a look at uh, dragon attack actually. So the first attack, which is coming in and you can see it by the time he took like the entire time um, to get as many percentage points as possible. But what this guy is doing is he's coming from the top side. And as I guys told you, this base is kind of tricky um, if you're coming from the top side. Another thing is, as I just marked for you, this one expo, you can put that to, to ground or to air. It kind of depends on how many air and how many ground attacks are um, on your base. So that's up to you basically. So the first point of this attack is queen walking the upper side and he's adding the warden, which is kind of smart because you need the warden, otherwise you will need way too many rages at the top side, especially because I took or like I put over there another um, ground skeleton. Um, because if you do not rage over there, you will have troubles. And you guys will see that in a second, because a lot of people are underestimating the power of the warden, and especially with the ground skeleton coming up over there, they cannot really burst the warden because, well, the skeletons are tanking for the warden. So this guy already lost his queen ability. Now he's coming in with the with the Yeti Blim for the Eagle and the Scatter Shots in the second row, which is actually pretty clever because what this does is the Queen can actually walk the entire flank. The only danger right now she has is like the air defense. Like that's the only thing which, which she has to worry about um, because the Scatter Shot is now down, which means like the healers won't switch because there's only damage on your Queen. And now we can see why exactly I took the Black Mats on the right side. It's kind of nice to have like that many Black Mats on the right side. Um, the next thing is I put some walls in this long alley at the bottom, um, which make those entry kind of kind of tough. But now let's let's see how, how the attackers keep going because he's trying to war break in at the air defense, raging everything up. Um, most of the bowlers and the eddies are already going on the outside. But let's pause at this point. Like I said, those walls are pretty clutch over there because otherwise you can walk the entire town on flank. Um, but with this, you're forcing either the enemy attacker having or like making a decision. Either he's placing a jump spell to get to the town hall or he's forcing his, his troops basically through a wall, which most of the time isn't the correct wall. So this is why uh, those walls are kinda kinda clutched over there. Now the tornado trap is coming in, the ground skeletons are coming up and as you guys can see, the trash CC is dealing tons of damage and just making him really struggle, especially if you cannot hit the poison spell. I don't know why, but he's just not dropping the poison spell. Um, but either way, like this wouldn't have made any difference to be honest if he would have dropped the poison because now he's trying to place the royal champ to make sure that he's getting uh, down the town hall. And the clan castle, even if the clan castle would have been already down, this wouldn't be any difference to be honest because the royal champ is already dying on its own on the town hall. So that's, that's the first one star. And like I said, it's always super close. But even if this guy would have gotten the second star, it would have been a really low percentage. So... The attack from the top on this base is super risky and this is why I stacked a lot of traps around the town hall as well because this is the entry which is normally working if you're going straight into the town hall. But I have so many traps over there with like um, um, spring traps and everything so that should work uh, too well as well. But that was the first attack and now we want to switch over to an air attack actually like a um, drag clone attack and I used this base a couple of uh, times already in wars and matchups and everything and it defended pretty good so far. So. Let's take a look at the first attack. Um, and this guy is coming in with the drag clone. So what he, is he doing? He's starting off at the top side with his heroes, like king and queen, and then sending a couple of loons to trigger black mines. 
and then the um, the blimp to make sure that he's getting off this electron and then he will start with his dragons. And just take a look at the value of these dragons. When I saw this entry, I thought like, okay, this has to be a triple. Just take a look. The, the clone spell is going off. The loons are splitting perfectly, triggering a tons of black mines, which by the way, I changed um, after this attack because I felt like those black mines were so wasted. And now the dragons are coming in, coming in from the top left side. And, and he has to go in from the top because both of the sweepers are pointing towards the bottom side. So the next thing is he had to bring a poison as well because I'm kind of known by now that I'm using trash she sees kind of a lot. So this is why he had to bring the poison. But at the same time, well, it's always a coin flip. Like sometimes I'm using those trash she sees, sometimes not. So he had to use his heroes at the top side so he has nothing to go for the clan cast at the bottom. And now the dragons are splitting a little bit. Like a big group of dragons is getting to the outside which isn't the best thing for him to happen. And the inside dragons are getting completely wrecked by the combination of red mines and the scatter shot. And you can see by now the town was activated easily and dealing tons of damage. And now the clan castle is coming out and yep, there they are, the 33 archers. So even with this, um, even with this poison, the archers and everything are staying alive for way too long. And this means there are the skeletons coming out as well for the royal champ. So this means this is going to be another one. So like I said, Yes, this base are getting two stars as well. Like, I guess you got, you saw it over the entire week. I showed you every guy, every day the defenses. Um, but it's kind of often that people are missing out on the uh, on the town hall. And even if they're getting the town hall, it's a really low percentage. So this base did really well for me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And we'll see you guys back tomorrow for another one. Until then, see ya and bye bye.